thanks for watching and streaming us on your favorite device. I'm Mallory Safaste. It's been three years since five Capital Gazette staffers were murdered at work. This week, a memorial will be unveiled in their honor. At the same time, the trial starts to determine if the shooter is criminally responsible. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs joins us from the Annapolis Park, where family and officials will gather. Abby, what can we expect tomorrow? Survivors, family members, community leaders, and the Capitol Gazette's most recent editor will be speaking at the dedication tomorrow morning here at Newman Street Park. The memorial is meant to honor the freedom of the press and the five staffers who were killed that day. This was an attack on First Amendment rights. It was the largest killing of journalists in U.S. history. And Monday will mark three years since the gunman opened fire in the Capitol Gazette building, killing Gerald Fishman. Rob Hyacin, Rebecca Smith, John McNamara, and Wendy Winters, Winters Larka's mom. They were reporters. They were reporting on the truth. Uh, they were not enemies of the people. They were, they were the people. Larka says she feels this targeted attack on free press is often forgotten. But a memorial will soon serve as a permanent reminder. It's called Guardians of the First Amendment and consists of a large wall with the words of the First Amendment inscribed on it. A bronzed version of the first page of the Capitol Gazette the day after the shooting and five pillars to represent each victim. It will inspire this community and all of its visitors to act in defense of a free and independent press and to protect and preserve our local newspaper. It will be unveiled in an Annapolis Park Monday morning, the three year anniversary of the shooting. A day later, the trial for the shooter, Jared Ramos, begins. He pleaded guilty to the murders, but not criminally responsible due to his mental health. And I expect that we will see something of a battle of the experts. So each side will bring in their doctors. Uh, and so this is going to be. Um, in many ways, a discussion, a high level discussion by experts about their diagnosis. The jury of eight men and four women will decide if he was sane at the time of the murders. The, the, some of the, wrink, the wrinkles here is that you have to be crazy to do something like this, right? I mean, and that, that's for some of the jurors, you could say no one in their right mind does it. Well, there's a difference between being evil, right, and being insane. The judge expects the trial will last 10 business days and says the vast majority will be testimony from mental health experts. I'll be here at the unveiling as well as following the trial. Stick with WMAR2 News on air and online for the latest updates. In Annapolis, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.